Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Straight Outta Boston here, and today we're back for episode number 3 of my Pro Team series here on Tour de France 2015. So today we are back for the 2016 Criterium Internationale, so of course last year we did not finish in the top 20 of the overall standings, which means we were not able to qualify for the Dauphiné Delibere. So we are back this year trying to do the same thing, we gotta finish in the top 20 to qualify for the Dauphiné. So uh, what we'll probably do this time around is just skip these first two uh, stages and then just do this one, the last one, because this is the one that really matters. This is the one that is going to separate everybody and uh, pretty much decide the overall classification. So, all right. Um, now the question is, do we have pretty much the same team we had last year? Looks like it. So it's going to be Guidon and Ferreira then, again, it looks like, to uh, try and... Get in the top 20 here, although we have some better climbers this year. We have Kuro, we had him last year, I guess, but did we have Lengo last year? I don't remember this guy, so he might be new. He's got uh, 68 Mountain, so it's not too bad. So we might have some better teammates this year, at least, but uh, we're definitely going to be going for it with Guido. Alright, so here we go. We are uh, here for the final stage of the Criterium Internationale. So we've got control of uh, Guidon here, and like I said, we're going to try and finish in the top 20 to try and get that berth in the Dauphiné. So I'm not too concerned about uh, trying to win King of the Mountains or anything like that, so um, let's just fast forward to the final climb. Alright, so we are just about to approach the climb of Mont Ventoux, which is one of the most famous mountains in France, just, uh, just outside of the town of Provence, or Provence. And it will be pretty fun. I'm not climbing my Vontu in this game, so I didn't even know my Vontu was in this game, to be honest. It should be pretty cool. But we will see. If I don't finish in the top 20, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. So we've got 20 kilometers to the finish still. This is going to be a long climb. It will not be easy. That is for sure. Let's get in the small gear. 7.5%. A horrendous climb. Yes, it is. All right. Are we on it yet? I guess we're technically on it, but it doesn't really seem like it. Because it said it was more than 20 kilometers. But anyway, uh, there's no breakaway right now. The Peloton is leading the race, so... That is good. We won't have to worry about uh, competing with anybody in the breakaway for spots in the top 20. And all right, I don't know who's in... I think it might be Rain, Terame, and Yellow. I'm not sure, though. It might just be some sprinters. Probably whoever won the time trial. I have no idea who it might be, though. But alright, for now, we're just riding our pace. We can hang out in Ferreira's wheel here if we want. Uh, got plenty of teammates here, which is good. So hopefully we can just ride our pace. Um, I'm wondering... Hmm. I don't know. I'm wondering if we can just get our teammates to do most of the work for us up this mountain. But I'm not sure. I feel like we have a slightly stronger team this year than we did last year, but at the same time, still not that strong, so... We'll see, though. We just gotta ride our own tempo up the mountain right now. We've still got our energy bar to use later. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Got Ferrari just setting a nice tempo for us right now. We got Lingo, that guy who I think might be new. I'm not sure, though. Coming up here. Oh, we are already getting a little low on energy. He's being left behind. It's Zacharin is dropping. Not anyone we care about. A lot of people are dropping, though. Jesus. Tempo's already been picked up here. Somebody's got to be putting in a good pace. A teammate has just been dropped. Perot drops. He's one of our sprinters. All right, I think I might use the energy bar here. I think we're going to need it. Really do not want to blow up. So once that metabolizes, that uh, blue bar will go up a little bit more. All right, uh, Ferreira's dropping off a little bit here. Change of leader in the overall youth standing. Gotta grab onto someone's wheel if we can. Don't attack, don't attack. We're now into the thick of it. The riders will have to face slopes of over 10%. All right, got 14 kilometers left. We're in pretty good shape so far. Not great shape, but so far things have gone smoothly. I wish we had a little bit more energy. Got one teammate up here. I think that is, uh, actually I'm not sure who that is. About to find out. Looks like he's dropping, as is the yellow jersey. That is Patsy Part. That is Louis Vestra in the yellow jersey. He's dropping. So now we have, I think, no but teammates in the peloton. The virtual yellow jersey. Watch out. It's alright, though. Attack. We're just going to try and stick with this front group, but we don't necessarily have to. We're in 28th right now, so there are more than 20 guys in that front group. So we should try and stick with them. Let's just not go too, too hard here. Still got a long ways to go. 
Sammy Sanchez dropping back here. He's an excellent puncher who also knows how to climb in the mountains. But we're in the front group here. It's better for him with the favorites, which is good. Get the sponsor some airtime on whatever, wh whoever is broadcasting this race. <laughs> it certainly doesn't get broadcast in America. I can tell you that much. Because if it did, I would definitely watch it. One up, Mon Von Two and such. But all right, we're only having to go 16 kilometers an hour right now, which is good. We could probably even decrease this to 15 if we wanted. It's best not to count on him. Try to save as much energy as possible and stay in this group. 12.5 kilometers to go. It's going to be a long 12.5 kilometers. He's a luxury teammate. He'll do his utmost to help his leader. All right, let's try to kick this back up to 16 kilometers an hour. Come soon, Peter. The yellow jersey is one minute thirty away from you. All right, looks like uh, Guidon's is, is um, got full energy jersey. though. Oh, never mind. I don't know what that blue thing above his name is supposed to be. But either way, not not too important. He takes the virtual lead of the overall standing. Really, that's not Sammy Sanchez then, because Sammy Sanchez is like forty-eight years old. Whoa, man, this group is falling apart. Go, guys! You can't just be blocking the road. What are you doing? Right, we're in 19th right now, which is good. I'm not sure how Guidon did in the time trial, which could come in, come into play if the time if the if it gets down to like a matter of seconds between you know 20th and 21st place and su or such. But um, for now, I'm not too concerned about it. So we can probably ride with these guys if we wanted to. I don't think we necessarily have to keep up with the the guys at the front of the group. Although we probably honestly ride slower or we ride more efficiently if we just ride at our own pace. Formolo's kind of tagging onto our wheel here. He's a pure climber. We are in 14th right now. The very best when he's in Still got a long 10 kilometers to go though. Tiago Machado is here. Just hanging Formolo's wheel. If we want. This is 15th right now, so that's a good spot for us to be in, I would say. We are just off the front. He's one of the favorites for the race on the that undisputed right. lead. Alex Zinia, Rain Terame, Frank Schleck. Kisarlovsky, some familiar names at the front there. Oh, Christophe Riblon, the Frenchman here, along with Sammy Sanchez. It's like this Katusha guy is trying to make an attack. Maybe not. Oh, these guys are slowing down. Get out of the way. Whether on mountain stages or on hills, he's to be taken. All right, uh, we're riding pretty well right now. If we ride at this pace and we don't lose any energy, uh, we might be all set. We just gotta pretty much ride at this pace for the rest of the race, I think. And we could finish in the top 20. That would be very good. Uh, very good. Alright. Enough of that. 13th right now. Yeah, so we are we are sitting pretty. Just riding with our guys. No big deal. This is probably not nearly as dramatic as it would be if I was actually trying to win the race, but uh, that will come later in the Pro Team Series, the Pro Team Mode Series. we got to actually get good riders to do that. Right now, we're just trying to... Get high overalls. Or pretty much just do the goals they tell us to do. But look, alright, so we're all already uh, more than halfway done with this climb. This doesn't really look like the top of Mon Van 2, but uh, honestly, the only parts of Mon Van 2 that I could probably point pick out are the top, so. And we are not quite there, so. Alright, we could probably even pick up the pace if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna risk it. I am very content to ride with these guys. Because we'll be in 11th overall. The time gaps are big enough that we'll finish in the top 20 if we come in 11th or whatever in this stage. We've dropped plenty of guys who were ahead of us in the overall. You can just ride in these guys' wheel if you want to, I would think. Stay in the low gear if you can. Apparently you can't. We'll just... It will be a little less hard on them for one kilometer. It will be the time to catch their breath before facing the final and ever steeper slopes okay, of the Mont Ventoux. Ooh, alright, so we get steeper at the top, so we should try and hang back here if we can. No, I'm not really hellbent on chasing this guy for ninth place. I'm not really hellbent on doing a lot of the pacemaking either, to be honest. Oh, shaky, bumpy roads there. Just cut in front of this guy, no big deal. No big deal. I like all the Tour de France uh, memorabilia on the sidelines, even though this is not the Tour de France. But whatever. It's just details. Alright, we're not even a kil kilometer behind other race leaders, which is kind of interesting. Alright. 
Just keep riding here. All we gotta do is top 20. That's all we care about. Just trying to qualify for the Dauphiné. Alright, we are about to come under 5 kilometers to go. Allez, allez. Indeed. Alrighty, this Formolo guy is trying to break ahead of us, but he is not. He's not getting very far. Although he has made contact with the the Britannia and the Lamprey Rider. Let's see if we can get... Should we, should we try and get up there? Hmm. Alright, this is starting to look like Mamon too. <laughs> Although there's too much vegetation. We'll see if it actually gets kind of barren at the top. Like, I wonder if they'll have the actual, uh, like, look of... Mama too, but wow, this is already getting steeper, you can tell. Oh yeah, 8.99%, 9.2, 9.3. If you guys can't tell, I'm reading off the bottom right-hand corner, right right above where it says moderate wind. Which I didn't realize, I probably should have taken into account. Oh yeah, this is Mon Von too, look at that, that is so cool. So they have the actual mountain in the game. And this is, yeah, this is the exact road to come up on. That is so cool. This is why I love this game, man. All right, we're almost there though. We're almost we've almost got our top 20 locked down. This has been fantastic. I was honestly a little bit worried about uh, trying to do this, especially after the last time we tried and we just completely blew up. Now it looks like we are going to be able to pull it off. We're with this one group here. This is group number six on the road, I think. Yep. Igor Anton's right up there. We're not going to catch him, but that's all right. Pierre Fredrigo. Pero, I don't, I don't remember what his first name is. It's like Pero or something. Don't remember. Don't care. Don't care, to be honest. Well, I shouldn't say that. But alright. Almost there. Two kilometers left. Might even be able to get like seventh place here if we wanted. Finish top ten overall. Yeah, we should try and go for a top ten. That would be cool. 1.8 kilometers here. Let's try to... Let's get in the high gear. Uh, Alright, you know what? Let's not even... I, I really don't want to push it. I'll get in the high gear in the final kilometer. I'm not uh, keen on doing it quite yet. I probably shouldn't be... I don't want to be at the front here. This is bad This is bad racing position. If you're a cyclist and you're entering the final kilometer of what you think is going to be a bunch sprint and you're at the front, that's the worst position to be in. You always want to be... I mean, ideally, probably second wheel. But... You do not want to be at the front here. You always want to be able to counter. But we'll see. We'll see if there's actually going to be any attacks from these guys. I hope not. Alright, 800 meters left. Kick it in high gear. Oh, we can use cheeky block tactics if we have to to get our top 10. Coming up here, my, probably not going to catch Anton, but we'll get close. Looks like Frank Schleck won. That is pretty cool. Frank Schleck. Always a place in my heart for Frank Schleck. But alright, here we go. 7th place! Nicely done. Nicely done. Alright, let's definitely save that. So, 7th place on the stage. Overall, 7th place. Excellent. Just ahead of Niemek, Niemiek, who we were racing with, I think. Uh, was he in that group? Did he finish ahead of us? He must have dropped. He definitely dropped. He was with us for a while. I thought. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? 7th place, we got some extra money for that as well. 7th place in the King of the Mountains jersey. Ninth place in the team. Wow, we made some good money there. All right, we will now be allowed to take pl take part in the Dauphiné. Oh yeah, cool beans. All right, so this is a much longer race than 
the Criterium Internationale. So I don't know what our goals for this race are. We'll figure that all out in the next episode. That is all stuff for the next episode. But anyway, all right, that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.